Hello, I'm Rocco Beatrice, Managing Director for Estate Street Partners, Zoltatrust.com. Uh, a lot of times I get asked, uh, well, what exactly is the role of a beneficiary uh, in a particular trust, uh, like an ultra trust? Well, a beneficiary is a guy who's going to enjoy the assets of the trust. Uh, when exactly does the distribution begin? Well, that depends on the contract that is written. For example, if you have a 65-year-old, then we have distributions coming to him. If he dies, it goes to the children. And when do the children get the distributions? Well, again, the contract will tell you exactly when these distributions are going to occur, when, how, how much. For example, if you have uh, younger children, you may want to put some incentives there so they, if you're, if you're a person of extreme wealth and you leave, you know, 20, 30 million dollars in a trust, you don't want the ability of that beneficiary to be able to take the money, buy the biggest diamond for his girlfriend, go to Las Vegas and come back empty handed. You certainly want to put in some incentives to make their lives better. Uh, some of the incentives, for example, would be if you want to go to college, you want to go to Harvard, hey, get your into Harvard, we'll take care of the expenses. You want to get married, sure, we'll provide the financing for your home. We'll either buy your home or give you a down payment, but you're never going to actually own the asset. You want to go into business, well, that is the most prevailing one. In these circumstances, the trustee, the trust protector, will take a look at the beneficiary's uh, potential financial plan to see whether or not it makes any sense, whether or not there's a possibility of success, making the assumption that it is a potential business venture, the trustee can become the silent partner. He can fund the business venture. He can become the owner. He can become the investor. He can become the confidant. Whatever is necessary to make the beneficiary get a fruitful life. So if that were to, what if, for example, the beneficiary spouse, not enumerated in the trust? Same thing. The trustee will take a look at whether or not the beneficiary spouse has a reasonably good plan, a reasonably good success. They may lend the money. So the trust then becomes the bank, the bank or the venture partner. But the beneficiary's role in all this is to follow the instructions of the trust document. Usually a beneficiary has a copy of the trust document. There's some um, stopgap measures there. As for example, in our particular trust, if any beneficiary decides to attack the trust, invalidate the trust in any way, the grantors in these particular situations uh, right, uh, wording to the fact that if there's ever any collusion by a beneficiary to invalidate the trust for any reason, then that beneficiary is considered to have predeceased the trust and all his heirs are also precluded. So the function of the beneficiary is predicated upon the trust agreement that the original grantor decided to put in. As for example, wives, husbands, girlfriends, boyfriends of the beneficiaries, they will never become beneficiaries. So if you have an individual who is a beneficiary, he's married, his wife will never become a beneficiary of that particular trust, nor anyone else. But his bloodline, for example, the beneficiary's children, grandchildren, the bloodline, they would become automatically the beneficiary of the trust. This is Rocco Beatrice. This is the function of the beneficiary. Please visit our website, ultratrust.com. Thank you.